If you would please repeat after me one more time. I can't wait till they hate. I promise if you just pray with me for just a little while, I'll be out of here in 20 minutes. Hallelujah. And these few verses of scripture, Jesus is speaking to his disciples. As we know, disciples are learners. Uh, basically, they're not apostles yet. They're not yet where God would have them to be, to where they're going out to show others and teach others, to where they're laying hands on the sick and, and, and laying hands on the blind, and they're recovering their sight and speaking to, to people and speaking to the lame, and they begin to walk. They haven't yet got to that point. At this time in their lives, and they're, in this time in their, their teaching and maturing, uh, Christ is teaching them the Beatitudes and, and showing them the attitude that they should have when persecution begins to come at them. Uh, once again, disciple is just another term for learner. Hallelujah. And no matter how far or how much you may grow in God, you're still a learner. Can I get a witness out there? No matter how long you've been a Sunday school teacher, you're still a learner. No, no matter how long you've been the praise and worship leader, you're still a learner. No longer how long you've been pastoring or bishop, you're still a learner. Can I get a witness out there? Amen. Hallelujah. Three words that stand out to me in verse 11 I want to share with you. In verse 11 it reads once again, blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute, persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Uh, three words that stood out to me that I would like to share with you are revile, persecute, and shall. Uh, revile uh, means to speak abusively. Uh, I'm not speaking of someone who is physically putting their hands on you, but they speak to you in a tone and manner to where you think that you've been slapped. Whew. Uh, meaning that I don't know about you, but there's been some times on my job where folks have said some things that I feel like somebody just slapped me. And, 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 and I know they don't think that they're going to get away with that. Is, is there anybody who knows what, what I'm talking about? Hallelujah. I'm the oldest of five. And, and you best believe I'm not the biggest brother, but I'm the oldest brother. And just in case any one of my sisters or brothers feel like they could I'm just saying, I don't know about you all or where you fall with your siblings, but, but there comes a time when they begin to rise up. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, for instance, uh, my mother, she's four foot 11. Uh, all of her children are taller than her. But she says, don't get it twisted. Just because you're taller than me and you bigger than me, don't think mama can't take you out. I brought you in this world and I can't take you. Y'all ever heard that? Hallelujah. Y'all just work with me for just a little while. Yeah. Revile means to speak abusively. Jesus says there's going to be some folks because you are standing up for me and you're speaking on my behalf. They're going to speak some things that may be abusive to you. Another word that stood out to me in this verse is persecute. Persecute means to harass and annoy persistently. That means they won't let it go. They didn't already said what they had to say, Mother Jackson, but for some reason they got to keep coming back with the same thing over and over again. Hallelujah. Is there anybody who knows what I'm talking about? Not only that, another word that stuck out to me was a uh, shall. Shall does not mean if, but when. Jesus is letting you know this is not an if this happens. This is saying when it happens. Oh, he says that you are blessed. Oh, it takes some form of spiritual maturity to where when people can speak abusively, they begin to annoy and harass you consistently that you can still consider yourself blessed. So I had to look up the definition of blessed and according to what Jesus was talking about. The way that Jesus is using this term blessed, he's saying happy, to be envied, and spiritual.
spiritually prosperous with life and joy and satisfied in God's favor. I'm feeling good right now. And salvation, regardless of your outward appearance. Hallelujah. That's when you know you are blessed. Because not only are you in right standing with God, but satisfied with his favor. Whew. <laughs> Is there anybody this morning, if God doesn't do another thing, if people never congratulate or pat you on your back, you are satisfied in the favor of God. Hallelujah. Because you got to understand that there's some things that favor can't buy. Money can buy you a nice car, but money can't make the payments all the time. There's sometimes that you live by grace. Can I get a witness out there? Hallelujah. There's a time when J.A. is supposed to to cut off your lights. But they give you a grace period. <laughs> Hallelujah. There's a time when no people are supposed to repossess that car because you done missed the last three payments. But they give you a grace period. Can I get a witness out there? Hallelujah. And there's some things that you don't deserve. But God makes a way for you to have them anyhow. And that's something that only favor. Can somebody just say favor? favor. Hallelujah. Just, somebody just, just pat yourself and just say favor. favor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And somebody say, I can't wait. Y'all not working with me. Come on now. Act like you're trying to get a point across. Somebody say, I can't wait. I can't wait. Till they hate. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because you got to understand that there is something special about you. Hallelujah. And three points I want to make when they hate. And I want to let, let you know who they are. Sometimes they are the people that are the closest to you. Right. Huh. Who are they? Sometimes it's that best friend. Hallelujah. Can I get a witness out there? Hallelujah. I can't wait for them to, to break up because as soon as they do, I'm going to jump in there. Can I, can I get a witness out there? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, hey. I understand. That's my boy. I know. I know how he is. I know how he is. I, I, I told him. I, I said, that's a good woman. I told him. I told him. I tried to tell him how good you were. I tried to tell him. I'm, I'm just saying. Y'all never said that or, or heard that before. I'm just talking about some people that you know. Y'all with me? Yeah. I, I, and, and, and I told her that, that she should be thankful that, that she got a man of God just like you. Y all, y all, y all, I'm just saying. Y'all don't know who... Yeah, I'm not talking to you, but you know somebody who, who sounds like, like it's not. God is not surprised that you're going through what you're going through. Amen. Matter of fact, he might be the one that's pulling the strings. All right. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Because what you got to understand is, is that some of us, not all, but some of us need to go through the fire. Are y'all still with me? Because you got to understand, uh, I took some Windex to my gold piece, and, and as you can see, you know, it, it looks nice.